Hey, it's PKMNADV or Pokemon Adventure or whatever you want to call me. This is my first Pokemon Wi-Fi match that I'm going to be narrating and posting on YouTube. I want to give a shout out to Utan for providing the inspiration for this. So as you can see here, I lead with my Gengar and Torterra, which are two of my favorite Pokemon, and they counter with a shiny duo of Hippodon and Skarmory. It's way to rub it in my face there. By the way, this is against um, Polkop on the Poke Community forums. So yeah, I don't have a shiny Pokemon. So the first move I used with my Gengar was Shadow Punch on Skarmory, which did nothing. So after that, I felt really stupid because I wasted a move. But then, not wasting a move again, I used Grass Knot on Hippodon. I was going to use Earthquake, but I realized that wouldn't hurt Skarmory. And Grass Knot actually turned out to be a better choice as it gets rid of this fat Pokemon in one hit. And so now I'm already up in the battle 6-5, to five, which didn't really last long and you can you never have a lead that long in battles anyway but Skarmory used spikes which is a good move it'll hurt the Pokemon as you switch in and out later in the battle but um it, it turns out using or it ends up using spikes again in its second turn which I thought was really dumb it's a good attack but don't use it twice in a row so Lucario crunches Gengar here which knocks it out and I was really mad after that because Gengar's one of my favorite Pokemon to use. And I was going to use Trick Room so that Torterra could move first, but that didn't happen because Lucario was faster than my Gengar. So then here I know I said I didn't want to waste Earthquake earlier because it wouldn't hit Skarmory, but I really wanted that Lucario gone. So I decided to just go for it anyway. It, Torterra was 2 for 2 in one-hit knockout attacks. So Lucario's gone. And I think the next Pokemon is a shiny also. Uh, so <laughs> three three shinies against a guy who doesn't have any at all. So yeah, there's the, se the second Spikes, which didn't make any sense. I guess they just didn't have a move that they wanted to use. Then here's the shiny Tentacruel. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's, I like it, the, the green orbs on its head. That's really cool. And then I like the green wings on the pinkish Skarmory. That's, that's awesome. So then with Typhlosion... I decided to take advantage of the the type difference and use a fire attack. This Surf, I thought Typhlosion was dead, but if you can see close enough, it has like 2 HP left, which gave me enough so that I could use my attack and knock out the Skarmory, which had been damaged by the Surf. That helped me out a lot. I mean, I knew I was going to have a chance to knock it out, but I, I didn't worry after that Surf brought down its HP to almost half. So there goes Skarmory. I forget how many Pokemon we have now. Then I used uh, Giga Drain with Torterra. Tentacruel went down to almost half. But then that backfired, and my Torterra went down a little bit. What you missed there was um, Typhlosion got knocked out by the Sandstorm. We both send out Tyranitars, which I thought was awesome. Uh, Tentacruel's Ice Beam knocked out Torterra. So it was a good fight by Torterra. It lasted quite a few Pokemon and did its job. I used Thunder Fang with Tyranitar, which killed Tentacruel. Didn't really matter because Tentacruel didn't do much other than damage my Typhlosion. This substitute drove me crazy. I hate it when people use substitute because it's a, it's, I hate it because it's a good move. I hate it when it's used against me. If I had it, I'd love it, but when it's used against me, I hate that move. So then it comes out and uses Focus Up. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get Focus Punched, which stinks. I used Hydro Pump with Blastoise, which didn't do as much to Regirock as I thought it would. And then Regirock... Oh, right, Tyranitar Rock Slides, which damages the Substitute, and then also takes some off of Regirock, thankfully. Um, yeah, this is the boring part in the, uh, in the narration as I wait for the, the video. Regirock Flinched, okay, which... That was one of the two turning points in this battle. If Regirock hadn't flinched, one of my Pokemon wouldn't have lasted as many turns as it did. So then, Tyranitar focus punches my Tyranitar, which knocks it out. That stunk, because I wanted Tyranitar to be able to stay in. So my only Pokemon left was a level 70 Heatran, which is bumped up to level 100 in this level 100 double battle. So I had the, I was faced with the, the choice to either use um, 
Iron Head against Tyranitar or Regirock, it would have done good damage against either. So I Surf here with Blastoise. It brings Heatran down, knocks out the Substitute, and takes Regirock down. I think it knocked out the Substitute. Yes, it, okay. So then it, it'll take Regirock down. And then in a couple seconds here, uh, you'll see the, the second turning point of the battle, where I realized that I still had a chance left. Even though I was almost positive I was going to lose, I still had a chance after this attack by Tyranitar. So, Regirock Thunder Punches. I was pretty sure Blastoise was going to get knocked out on that Thunder Punch, and I was really relieved that it didn't, because then I had a shot at winning the battle. But then here, watch this. Tyranitar used Focus Punch, Tyranitar lost its focus and couldn't move. I let out a huge sigh of relief after that happened. So then, this Surf, I sacrificed my Heatran, so, but now I'm second guessing, and I I thought, what if I used Metal Head on Tyranitar and used Hydro Cannon on Regirock, or the other way around, I would have won the battle. I ended up losing, um, and you'll see in a minute. I thought that Surf was gonna take out Regirock. It didn't. I thought it was. It also had a pretty good chance of taking out Tyranitar. Didn't do that either. Uh, or no, yeah, Regirock fainted. I'm sorry. So then Tyranitar was left with that that tantalizing couple, like 10, 20, 30 HP. It got off a, I forget what attack it was, but it's going to say a Stone Edge. Takes out my Blastoise and ends the battle. It's a great battle, Polkop. That was pretty beastly for a, a debut battle on YouTube. Um, Pokey Community Forums, you can find Polkop on there. And then I'm, I have my blog, which is pkmnadv.wordpress.com I also have twitter.com slash pkmnadv Thanks for watching. See you next time.